Hello kids, won't it be great if we could just pack our bags and keep flying from place to place? Hey, but you can't do that because you don't have wings like me! Oh yes, you're right, but there's one major difference between you and my friends out there. And that is? You're a migratory bird, silly! Ooh, oops, why didn't that strike me? Doesn't matter. You go take your flight and I'll tell my friends all about birds like you. Oh, I feel so special, Dr. Binox. <laughs> Come friends, let's know more about migratory birds. Zoom in. Migratory birds are those birds that travel from one place to another at regular intervals over long distances and they migrate to escape the cold harsh winter weather in search of food and a warm cozy shelter. There are various types of migratory birds. Resident birds, pigeons and doves are good examples. These birds just don't migrate. They are able to find food and a warm shelter where they are staying. We might not travel a lot, Dr. Binox, but we do spread love all around from place to place. Short Distant Migrants Robins are short distant migrants. As the name suggests, these birds move only a short distance from lower elevations to mountainside. Hey, but don't you mistake me for a nightingale. I might look like one, but I'm not, okay? Oh, my friends won't. They are very smart. Aren't you guys? Medium distant migrants. These birds travel over distances that cover several states. They don't really travel a lot, but not that they won't travel less. Isn't it, Mr. Blue Jay? Hmm, you seem to know me quite well, Dr. Binox. But there's one more secret about me. Wanna know? Sure, tell us. We are all waiting. Hmm, I'm quite mischievous, Dr. Binox, because I hunt more than I can eat. <laughs> Long distant migrants. These birds travel typically from United States and Canada to wintering grounds in Central and South America. The Arctic Tern is an example of long-distance migrants. And I am the record holder for covering the longest distance of 44,000 miles. Oh my, that's huge! Just to let you know, the circumference of the Earth is approximately 29,000 miles. So imagine how much these birds travel. Trivia time! Before migrating, many birds enter a state of hyperphagia, where the hormone levels compel them to drastically increase their body weight to store fat to use as energy while traveling. And some birds also have the ability to sense the Earth's magnetic field to help them navigate. So I need to travel now. Wait till I come back next. Tune in next time for more fun facts. This is me fly zooming out. Bye.